Hello, hello, beautiful people. Uh, welcome to Prime Media Studio. Uh, I'm here again with my uh, partner in Good Deeds, Mr. Peter Ocheme. Uh, this is Pastor Michael. Uh, today we're going to be giving you a tidbit as usual uh, as regards the happening in the country. Uh, so, Mr. P, how's it been? Fine, fine. As usual. It seems that you said beer is growing <laughs> <laughs> daily, daily, <laughs> on a daily basis. I hope it doesn't get long to your get to your chair, well, your I'll chair. Because I'll, you <laughs> I'll be running from you. Well, <laughs> Thinking maybe you have something hidden behind <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. So we'll be giving us uh, some uh, major headlines in the daily. And uh, there are a lot of issues here and there. As uh, Issues, some are uh, really unbelievable. Uh, where you see some, uh, the election in Nigeria is, we don't even know where we're going because the issues you think is over before you know something is uh, according to Nigeria the, the, the yeah. election is not yet over it's not yet over so yet over. uh court cases are ongoing and uh, the supplementary elections are taking place in some area you saw issues here and there uh, it's really really really, really pathetic and uh, um we just let just give you what's going let us tell you some of the story that's going on right now um i think in um let's start with the case in uh, Adamawa, wow. yeah, in Adamawa, we, we know that um, the, the wreck on sub the, uh, the power of the returning officer there, and uh, the, the wreck actually announced um, the APC candidate, the winner mm -hmm. of the election, when in actual fact, I think it's not his position to do that. He was supposed to allow the returning officer to uh, you know, give the announcement, but he went ahead and uh, announced that uh, Benami was the winner of the uh, of the election, and that has actually uh, sparked a lot of uh, reactions. And uh, I think INEC has actually the the office, the head office actually stepped in to, to wait into that matter quickly, and uh, we learned that it was suspended. It was suspended, and um, and I think right now we can see that um, uh, Fintiri has been declared the winner of the election. So that happened there, Mr. P. Hmm? So what, what is your take? My take on, on this is okay. They've decided to to um, hmm. what do I say? Um, are they canceling the election or they they, they just um, award um, the election to someone or the the Person that was contesting with us. Yeah, the, the person contesting based on I think the the the, the numbers they were supposed to count the votes. Of course, the highest uh, uh, the the those that score highest really? should be declared. Uh, the, the, the that score highest should be also be declared winner. And uh, based on what we saw there, the the wreck just went ahead and rushed and declared uh, Benani winner. When the total result has not been properly collated, and and accordingly the work of the returning officer to declare the winner. So that has been the case there, and uh, I think any actually waiting they have uh, done they have they did what they can to service that situation. Uh, but we heard we heard that um, um, there are some news that uh, some bribing took place. Okay. Uh, that. Uh, Things are coming out. Benani bribed some of those officers in order to declare her ah, winner. winner. And we learned about two billion was actually huh? what was uh, distributed. So, Peter, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I keep this wondering, kind of money can make some input. I keep wondering where these people keep this money, you know? Mm. Because I'm, I'm very sure if you keep such money in your bank account, Mm. By now, uh, you see yes, is changing your all, all about. You know. mm. I keep wondering where these people keep this money and how they the the they got this money, where they got this money from. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we, we saw it. The, the money is there. No, some of them actually hiding hiding this, hiding this money in their houses, <laughs> buried on the ground no for this purpose. <laughs> no wonder they were fighting um, this old Diana issue. Yes. Seriously. Well, you know, um, and then I said one thing that the federal government. In that uh, near design order, they had plans actually, but I think the implementation was um, where they had issues. 
and they didn't do it. It well. was not properly implemented. That would have, that would have, in short, and solved a lot of issues. Imagine when you know that, oh, wow, because a lot of people, a lot of people that wasted money. Yeah. But there were billions upon billions stashed away somewhere that you can't bring to the bank. If you bring it to the bank, they will ask you, how do you get this money? So, and maybe if they had tightened this event, maybe people would have been moving to people. Maybe they would have shared some money to us. Just like, <laughs> just like that time we heard that um, um, hence they were distributing money on the money highway. Money on the highway. <laughs> because the money is there and they can spend it. So, but it was badly managed, implemented, and now we, we saw the money in circulation again. The old and new Nero node is being, even the old Nero node is even more than the new Nero node right now yeah. in circulation. Because some of the money I saw a few days ago in print trash and all that, I discovered that the yeah. old money is more in circulation. Even the one I've been collecting is the old money. So, uh, is it the band that have brought this money back, or is the one that was hidden that is being pushed out maybe, systematically during the election? Maybe. Maybe they are hiding it in case um, um, the missile is going back to, um, you know, trying to tell them that they, are, mm. they, they want to withdraw back the old money. They have enough new mm. money with them. So, so okay. now it will, be, it will affect the poor. Mm. So, you, so you see, in that allegation, if you look into it properly, you discover that, uh, uh, let me, I want to read it, what is there. So the All Progressive Congress Governorship candidate in Adamawa State, Senator Aisha Tu Dahiru, better known as Benani, has denied allegation that she paid some staff of the Independent National, National, Independent National Electoral Commission, including Hudu Yunusa Ari, a resident electoral commission, commissioner in the poll, to declare her winner of the, uh, of the election. So she's denied that she did not give anybody money as regard that. But what we read in the punch um, that Ari had on Sunday or sub the INEC power and um, the, the INEC returning officer's power, you know, and declare her winner. And uh, in in if you go further down on that show, discover that um, that's where the allegation that was, uh, uh, where they talked about, there was a video circulating in the media uh, where they saw uh, Ari half naked, his man was bleeding, wow. and speaking at the gunpoint. I think this is where they assumed uh, he confessed that uh, uh, in the statement on Tuesday. So that's where he kind of confessed that a lot of money was uh, money was given in order to do this. So so it's a they punch newspaper. You can go there and just see uh, what we're talking about. So and she said, "No, I cannot. I'm a Democrat. I will never subvert democratic process," says Benani. Mm. So it's not left for the FCC to do the right job. Yeah. Can I provide investigation? Um, if I thought, if indeed this is a fact, yeah, you, you do the needful. Yeah, and that's what, what the Lord caught uh, is, is all about. But, but Mr. P, we know very well that the election in this country, uh, it, it has become like um, the bigger wings, the heavyweights. Once you have the money, they believe that once they have the money, that's what they have believed now. Once the money is there, they can be anything in the country. Yeah. They can occupy any exotic position. But I believe when you bribe people some money, you can get there. And, and, and technically, it's working out in some areas. Yeah, it, it's kind of working out in some areas. We just pray, we just pray our lawmakers really knows and uh, put, mm. really put effort in this and make us proud in, on this on matter. Because, because it's very, if this continues, this will really uh, discourage people that have competence, but don't have that financial muscle. The people that have leadership skills, that work grounded in leadership, that know what it takes to manage the system. If, like we saw, let me give an example, like a person like uh, Mogalu, when you see that man speak and really look at his... Uh, uh, his uh, History. His history, you find that he actually has some things he can offer. But we discovered that later on he was, uh, he stepped out of the political this. And uh, because what you saw there, according to him, was, uh, no, 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 this is, not, uh, this is not encouraging. So now it has become where system whereby only those that have money are the ones that have been uh, that can have that way, whether they have, they have the 
the, the, the capacity to, 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 to deliver or not, as long as you have the money, you can have your way into the exotic position in the land. That's what, that's what is going on. Not, not knowing that, you cannot force yourself to rule people. If people don't want you, oh. you don't want you. Oh. Yes. That's yeah, right. But, but if, this, if things remain now, the way it is right now, there's not anybody can actually force himself on anybody in this country. Then you have issues. Yes, you have issues because when you force yourself to rule people, mm. they are ruling people, they will just they will treat you anyhow. Then at the end you keep having issues with them. Mm. So when you when because you when you when you lead people and you have issues with them, mm. there's no point. So uh yeah, the election still uh, still is taking place and uh, we, we just hope that um those that have that, that have been put in place, the mechanism, the system, those that are meant to checkmate this. We hope they actually go ahead and fish out those using money to oppress people and to have their way. Because I can assure you, if somebody offered two billion naira as a bribe to win an election, and I bet you that person wants to get that money back when he gets there, yeah. he or she gets there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So which okay. means the people will not really get the value of that uh, uh, of that uh, uh, tenure. They won't get the value what they're supposed to get the country the states. They won't get the value at that time because they'll be working for their pocket at that moment. They make sure they get that. They get that money back before. first. Who oh, they could be a loan. They could be a loan. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're gonna get a loan too. For example, I I, I don't know yet if it's a loan, <laughs> but I'm not thinking. <laughs> if they see it as an investment <laughs> where you can get money back, people can actually get a loan too. If you get to play that, you can loan me two billion naira. Please let me know. <laughs> please. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, yeah, we need such money to do wonderful investment yeah. that can bring good returns. But a lot of people are pushing, sharing in just a better exotic position. Yeah, you yeah. know, is this thing boils, boils down to the fact that a lot of um, we Africans, we still don't understand what it means to be, to, to lead people. We don't know the meaning of service, rendering service. We don't know the meaning of, if, if, if you know, if you're going to ruin that service, to occupy position, Mr. P, eh? the most difficult thing to manage in this life is human being. Okay. It's human being. Then you are not going there to go and manage people. You are not strong enough. And you believe you can go there and manage a lot of people. Aside that, forcing yourself. Then. How, how can you? <laughs> Even somebody that is 100% sound is having an issue managing people. How can you do that? It means you just want to sit down and say you uh, just want to be a, a ruler, not a leader. If a leader goes ahead and say, follow me, the ruler can just sit down and say, okay, go and do this, go and do that, go and do that. You understand me? It means you just want to go there and be a ruler, not a leader. Because a leader takes the lead. Yeah, you need to be in the field. You have to be there. You have to be there. If things happen, you need to go there. You need to show people that you're concerned about their, their predicament and so on and so forth. But if you are not sound, how can you do that? Well, that is how it is. So that is in the Punch newspaper. Uh, Benani denied the allegation that she has offered money, uh, offered bribe to the INEC officials to de declare her winner of that election. And they will see how other uh, stories, uh, how that's to like the aviation, the aviation sector, a lot of issues also going on there. Uh, we saw uh, they, they, they threatened the uh, division workers. They gave two days one really strike, right. which actually took effect. Uh, so they are still Adamas. They are insisting that um, their request must be met. And if it's not met, they're going to shut down the whole uh, uh, system. And you know the impacts this really uh, have on the economy. You know the impact, Mr. P. This will have on the economy when the airport is grounded and nobody can fly in and out because um, the other claim is that government should honor the agreement. The minimum wage and all that, their welfare. You know, I think this is also part of why we saw a lot of doctors. The Jackbar syndrome, Jackbar syndrome increase so much. Where they are running out of the country, that there's no proper welfare package. Mr. P, the money that is meant for all these things, 
is being diverted. It's being used in different ways that it's not only going to the people that it's meant for. And people are running around the country to look for a better, uh, 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 you, know, uh, you know, a better welfare and all that. So this is what we're talking about. If there's agreement on what to be paid, why can't you go ahead and pay it? Must we suffer all day before uh, the government listen? But this is what I believe the best way to, to, to make the government to this, listen. This issue of minimum wage have been in existence for a very long time. Mm. To to date, they are still battling with it. I don't know. Okay, we saw the uh, the, the authorities in the aviation industry promising that uh, based on the um, uh, the rules and the, that pe people will get their hundred uh, percent refunds. But yeah, they'll get a refund. Okay, that's fine. But if for example you're going for a major appointment that will give you a huge amount of money, good contract, and all that, and you missed it. Wow. With the real phone, will it, will it, <laughs> can, it, can it solve that? It will not bring back that meeting. So, <laughs> you understand? The meeting you are going for that can give you a good contract, that will change your life, life story, and you now miss it because of this uh, issue. Right. And someone's telling you the 100,000 want that you get it back in real phone. That does not solve the issue. But do you know, um, canceling of this, um, um, uh, whatever, eh? mm. it has to do with the with the weather reading, you know, and because most times if they read the if they read the weather and discover that the place is not the cloud is not um, comfortable for to, for them to fly, they will just can't fly. I think it's for the better of the passengers, you know. Uh, on that ground, I think that's fine. But what about like this aspect of this um, uh, issue of uh, uh, this aviation worker, the whole issue going on at the airport right now? On this ground, this on, is not this on this on this ground is the issue is from federal government and the and the and the aviation workers. Okay, so they should quickly resolve this resolve. so that uh, people can be able to uh, move on. We, we can uh, we can we cannot allow this to be added to the already uh, problem we have problem that we have. There's so much problem, serious problem. Because right now the the presidential election. Uh, and uh, and uh, the court is still uh, on it. We don't even know where we are going. It will be protest or no, we don't know yet. Because either way, if they declare Obi, okay, fine, okay, we have uh, declared him or any other, any other them win him. I'm very sure the other person will react, right? And this, or they all have followers. So we don't know what's going to come out from that one yet. And we're having this, this is happening. Yeah, and, and you know, so it's not good at all. I think. The government should plead and uh, nip some of these things in the board quickly, quickly, quickly. Call them to the all to order, uh, negotiate this if need be, and uh, so that uh, things can move on. We also saw, I think, in the, in the Vanguard newspaper talking about um, that uh, I, I, the Nigerian students actually crying that uh, they've been neglected in the Sudan. Where the war is actually uh, ravaging uh, the area, so they are saying that they have been neglected. But I really feel that uh, the, the our government should be too proactive in a case like this. When when things are happening, so what happened? U.S. when they sensed, known that they just have the information that they might be attacking Abuja. We saw what they did. Quickly, they evacuated their people immediately. I take them away. I was always been happening uh, in uh, Sudan, Sudan, where over, I think based on the report we have here, uh, a lot of people have been uh, uh, killed already. I think uh, based on the reports, oh, already over 200 civilians yeah. have been killed. These are civilians, not, 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 not army or something, just civilians have been killed. In a similar like that, there is a need for, for our government to really be proactive and uh, uh, see how they can evacuate people. From there, so that we don't lose any of our, our people in that. Uh, it's better to be alive. It's best to be alive first. You know, um, if if it has gotten to this stage now, um, mm. it will be very difficult for them to to go in and rescue them because, as it is now, that place is a war zone. Mm. You um, 
take going there with your own flight or I don't know how they want to go and evacuate them. It's a risk for people that are going there to evacuate them. So I think what, what they should do for now is just to be on alert and see when the, the situation there will be calm enough for them to, to go in and evacuate him, uh, Nigerian students from there. Okay. So uh, in the Punch newspaper, we saw Chinese government denies financing terrorists to assess Nigerian resources. Uh, this story, um, okay, there's allegation that uh, they are involved, that they are sponsoring, rather bribing terrorists. Uh, the story says the Chinese government has denied funding militants to assess Nigerian mining and sites, adding that it is will, that it will not, so it will never be involved in any form of uh, terrorism financing. So now this this story, I, I can assume or believe that it's just uh, this is just a, a tip of the story. Uh, there's a need for the appropriate authority to actually look into this because we have seen uh, Mr. P a situation whereby we heard that a lot of oil is being stored in the high sea. I think I listened to was it um, yeah they were the general of Asia Redeem Presumption of God. In one of his sermon where he talked about that uh, he just make an outro that over 80 percent of our oil has been uh, still in the high sea and we also saw, saw, saw some newspaper where the government also draw uh, reference to that area that uh, of course uh, oil has been stolen in the high sea right and we see this coming now that uh, uh, a foreign body is being fingered sponsoring terrorism you know bribing to get oil uh, in the in the sea, it's a big, it's a, it's a it's a huge one. It's a huge one. If that happens, it, this can actually give these guys a lot of backing to be doing what they're doing. You know, I can't imagine how can a huge vessel be moving in the sea and nobody can stop it, nobody can see it. it, it I don't know if you understand me. I'm, I'm if a car is moving on the express, eh, you can spot it. Even if, if a boat is moving in the sea, in the sea. You can you have a radar that reads all these things. So how can a huge vessel be moving out of it takes time to load this vessel? And nobody can see it. So that that's the that's what I said. I said the, 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 the report came out on the 15th, on the I think on the yeah, 15th of April. You know, Chinese bribing Nigerian militants for uh, for access to vast mineral resources, claimed that Beijing could not be indirectly funded terrorism. So I think the government we need to look into this. Then to look into this, it, yeah. If if actually it's true, because if it's not nipped in the body, if it's not stopped, it can naturally grow out of uh, proportion. In fact, these are these are things that I think um, is really affecting um, the price of fuel and um, gas in Nigeria mm -hmm. presently. Yeah, because when we when we don't have enough, the it, it, when we, when we don't have enough, mm. the price is price. Mm. Uh, and 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 this. This because you see these militants, um, these guys that are close to where these minerals are, they know it very well, and uh, and the, a lot of people actually look see, look for this opportunity to get close to where the mineral is located, so they can be able to get it from the source and do whatever they want to do with it. So, and and I can assure you. To get to those assets, you need to have no one or two persons to get there. So uh, let me just leave that this government should go ahead and look into this so that uh, we don't. Uh... Then there's another story in the Punch newspaper that talks about uh, a husband tackles Lagos Hospital as wife dies after birth. Mm -hmm. It's a very it's a sad story. It's a sad story because based on the story, when you read down, you discover that. Um, uh, the husband claimed that the wife was um, uh, due for delivery, but the hospital claimed that uh, the cervix was not open yet. Though it's due, the, the time has, the time it was due, but the where the baby can come out from was going to come out from wasn't ready yet. So mm -hmm. they now put out an observation and all that for some time, and. Uh, to the extent the husband was asked to uh, sign for 
uh, caesarean section. Uh, the man said before he could sign that paper, uh, he discovered that they already cleaning the baby. A woman mm -hmm. had given birth. Okay, after giving birth now, he started bleeding. He started looking for blood, using blood and everything. That was ongoing and, and in the process, uh, they couldn't stop the bleeding and the woman uh, gave up the ghost. Mm -hmm. So the husband is now claiming that the process, the, 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 there, was, there was neglect. She's really, she's really angry that there's neglect and uh, uh, angry at the hospital that uh, the wife shouldn't have died if proper care was uh, taken. You know, uh, this still boils down to the, um, the, the Japa syndrome that has happened in the country. You know, we need enough professionals to handle um, these issues in the country, and uh, these professionals are among people that we are losing, that are going outside the country, traveling now, uh, and we, we need to have enough of them on the ground. I'm sure if this woman was properly taken care of, this might not have happened. Right. You know, if one is bleeding, there's a lot of process of using. I'm not a doctor, though, but I know I have been there. Yeah, when my wife gave birth to the first child, I was there. Mm. Uh, I can from the watching yes, yeah. yes, yes. I was there. Uh, in short, my second baby, I was among the daughters that carried my wife <laughs> from the labor room to the theater. So I can tell you how it, how it is when water breaks. Wow. I know uh, the craft baby <laughs> and what the mother, you know the stuff and all that. And the first child we labor together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're moving upstairs and downstairs together <laughs> and all that. So I can tell you all these both of you. Uh, in yeah, the, yeah, we put up us <laughs> in labor. <laughs> My pocket was in labor <laughs> while she was in labor. So it's a serious uh, issue. I can understand what this man is going through. You know, when you see your wife is alive, baby is alive, you guys are alive. No matter what you must have spent or you've gone through, the pain will just disappear. Okay. But when it's going by, you have your baby and the mother is not there. You know, it's, we can't, so I, don't want to, I don't want to imagine it. It's just sad. So he's not happy at all. You know, you know there's most people you get to whereby you'll be treated as if you, you've done the wrong thing to enter that hospital. Yeah, I have been to, um, uh, when my dad was sick, I took him to one of the hospitals in Lagos, you know, and the way I was treated, I, I, I felt as if I should just take my dad and leave that place. Hmm. You, not, 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 there's no sympathy, nothing like, uh, oh, you know that kind of thing, as if they, they don't want something to happen to you. So uh, when this one is saying all this, that um, there was a negligence, there was negligence and all that, I kind of understand where it's coming from. And I expect authority to look into these issues, you know. There's what they call these issues emergency because they needed to be attended to immediately. You yeah, don't yeah. postpone these issues for any reason. If you don't have enough uh, space to take care of you, you refer the person immediately to that place where it will be attended to rather than wait for somewhere to say something bad to happen to people. I think um, this um, this these are happens now just open people. Uh, you have to make inquiries mm. before taking your wife, your children to an hospital. Mm. You understand? You, just, you don't just run to hospital. You can only run to hospital when you see that the case is an emergency. You need a close by hospital. Mm. If not, it's good for you to make inquiries before taking your wife or your children to hospital. Even to hospital. Yourself. Yeah, well we pray we don't force it. Mm. Because I, I such hospital, I don't I don't pray to be at the mercy of the such <laughs> doctor. Okay. So th these are the stories um, the, on the headline today uh, and so much more. So the election, like we just mentioned, there's still a uh, the election battle. <laughs> it's still ongoing. It's not over yet. I will hope all this will be over. So Mr. P, there's one other story I think I just want us to talk about. I know it's, it, you know, they say when you bring, um, I'm going to go, let me talk about African party right now. When you bring a raw yam to a dog, that raw yam will be there for years. What will happen to it? <laughs> Yes. Because it's not his, it's not his business. Try, try raw meat and see. Then try raw meat <laughs> and see. You will not see anything there. Now there's a story that says that federal government to increase tax on tobacco products to fifty percent. So uh, people are not smoke. This is not your business at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any business with it. <laughs> so those that smoke, you should be concerned right now. <laughs> uh, so the tax will be raised. 
Uh, so he, she must smoke. I think it's good. It's good. It, they want to use to discourage a lot of people from uh, okay. smoking because uh, doctors say that uh, it's not me. Doctor says that it's dangerous to your yeah. health. You, you know, so. Like you're liable to die young if you smoke. Well, Miss P, this is the only question I want to raise. Okay, government that this is dangerous to the health. Why can't you just stop it? Does it mean if we don't smoke that you will not leave or something? Is it only where government really starts? Can you just stop it? Or allow it to flow because the business money are making from there? <laughs> okay, it's dangerous to health. Then let you just stop it. That's okay, fine. No more smoking. You know, the, the, um, <clears throat> the, the issue of this, this issue of smoking mm. is, is, um, is like, um, if you want to kill yourself, kill yourself. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> But there was a time, uh, there was a time in Abuja then. Mm. I don't know if, if, if it happened in Lagos. It's all over Nigeria though. Okay. That um, smoking in public public places is not allowed. Mm. They are, if they catch you smoking in public places, like walking on the road and smoking, they arrest you because it's like you're affecting other people close to you with the smoke. Mm. I don't know. Maybe now they don't do it again. But I, I used to see people smoke around on the road. You know, so, so I think uh, they want to use method to discourage uh, uh, people from uh, smoking. The federal government says it will increase excise tax on tobacco products from 30% uh, to about 50% as part of measure to control tobacco smoking in the country. Okay. So this is to control, uh, this is to control uh, the smoking in the country and all that. So if you see, go ahead and... Uh, Spend so much to buy a cigarette. It's your cup of tea. It's your cup of tea. <laughs> so you drink it alone. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, on that story in that area. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we hope that the, the, the Adamawa case is properly resolved. And we hope that the ESC dig down on that story, that uh, news in that environment, to actually find that it was a bribing case. And get those people arrested and then um, somebody said something yesterday it said right now the judges in nigeria are on trial yes because somebody was saying something they said come i make whatever i do if they ask to go to court any little thing go to court and so they are putting the burden something that can be resolved from the from, from every voting unit it has become cumbersome all the burden has been shined to the court, and I can assure the court is overwhelmed right now. The judges are on trial in the sense that any precedent they set from here now, that's what's going to continue. Any judge that's going to deliver now, for example, now, like the case of uh, uh, Hope Ozodima case, somebody that's not second, third was not declared the winner, and it's a governor till date. So somebody cannot say now that uh, Peter Obi or Atiku cannot become a president, president the because there's a precedent that was set. If they actually follow those procedures and all that, so anybody can stand now. Even if you were a fifty person in that uh, result, you can say no. I have I have a case to prove in the court because it happened before. If I'm able to prove my case properly, I can be a claim winner. That is why Peter Obi, that I believe to be third, can come out and say, "Fine, this case." I won this election, and I'm going to prove it. And that is happening as we speak. So the judges are on trial, and I hope, I hope the judge should stand their ground and uh, make us proud. Make us proud. Because it's not just all about them right now. It's about the future of this country. If you have, somebody wanted to, when the election was going on in my area, and I was trying to, we were manning the polling unit and all that. And I asked me, this is why are you doing all this kind of thing? I like you put to vote now. He say, say, my friend, I have to defend this vote because I have land in this environment. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if anything goes wrong, I might lose my land. I need to protect my land. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Wow. So if you believe you have a stake in Nigeria, you want the country to be um, uh, something you'll be proud of, I think you should do the best. Not for you, for your generation. Because... Uh, there was a leadership program we, we looked we had, uh, went for recently, and uh, part of the lecture was that if, for example, you want to discuss something of of uh, of the future with a set of people, hmm? and in that people you have a set of thirty uh, 
a 30 years old and instead of 100 years old, you want to discuss something about the future. Yeah, among this set of leaders, people, whom would you call to discuss, discuss with? One of 30, of course. One of 30, because <laughs> in, before that, um, uh, that time, before next 50 years, other than about the 70 won't be around anymore. The 30 will likely be around. So there's a likelihood of you discussing with the group of uh, 30. So whatever judge you want to make, whatever thing you are doing in this country, please don't look at yourself. Right? Very soon, you'll be joining the Lord. <laughs> you'll be joining the Lord. So it's best you, you, you do something now. Your children, children will come and be part of it. Yes, that's my advice to you. Okay. All right. Mr. P, we're mm -hmm. going to call it a day here. It's been tidbits from, um, from the daily newspaper in Nigeria. And we have looked into Vanguard, Punch, uh, The Nation, and more to come. And very soon, we're going to make available to you a mix by which you can uh, chat us, call us, so we can have a robust discussion, OK? Yeah. yeah, if some of these stories you felt that, oh, you have vital information regarding more detail than we do, you can just uh, uh, call us and send us a message. Of course, we'll read it live here yeah. from Prime Media Studio. So it's been Professor Michael and my very humble and strong colleague in good deed, Mr. Peter. Okay, we have anything for you as... Just stay tuned and keep watching or subscribe to our channel. Okay. We'll be coming to your daily basis on this platform. Okay. So stay put and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice time.